Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne and uh, today I wanted to share with you in this video some things that I picked up from a church yard sale. Um, I happen to love church yard sales first because the money that's being raised is going for a good cause. Uh, in this particular case they were raising money for uh, their youth group and uh, also you can pick up some really good deals usually at churchyard sales. Everything that they have has been donated and their main goal is to raise money, um, not to have items left over that they're then going to have to uh, donate to uh, you know, a Goodwill or something. But anyway, um, make sure to watch to the end of the video and leave a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite piece or pieces were and I'll do the same for you. So everything that I'm going to show you regardless of what it was marked um, came to ten dollars total so I was super excited about that. The first thing I'm going to show you makes me feel like Miss Stone home. <laughs> I'll show you why and if you watch her you'll understand. It's this centerpiece that someone had fashioned a long time ago uh, using all vintage Christmas items. And you can see that little choir girl there and understand why I feel like Miss Stone Home. <laughs> there are three of them, the little choir girls around here. This little one here is about to fall off. Uh, there's also a Santa that fell off that's in the bag that I'll show you very shortly. Uh, and it's got the old plastic greenery on it as well. And the little berries are flocked. So I am going to take this apart and with inspiration from Miss Stone Home, I'm going to start seeing if I can't do some assemblages uh, like she does. Uh, you have to go check out what she does. They're really incredible. A uh, lot of skill. So fingers crossed that I can even do half as well as she does. Uh, the next thing is for a little place that I have down in Florida, which I've been decorating for the past year or so. I'm still a work in progress. And I'm just putting in the bathroom, just plain old white area rugs, kind of keeping it kind of neutral in the bathroom. So uh, this was marked at a dollar. That first piece that I showed you was marked at a dollar. And, and then I picked up this. It's a violin in a box. Uh, duh, right? <laughs> and I thought I could use this. It's actually a Christmas ornament. But I thought I could use that in an assemblage. And let's see, it's an older piece. It was made in Taiwan, and it is real wood. So I thought that would be a really pretty piece to use. Let's see, what else is in my bag of goodies? Um, oh, this I just bought for my little uh, flag out in front of the house. It's just a little tiny happy birthday flag, two-sided in really good condition. And oh, there were two of these picks with the strawberries on them. And I don't, I guess they're a really hard plastic, but it's all wired and then it has little strawberry blooms on it here. Um, and this too, I think I could use in, a, in an assemblage um, or even on my tiered tray for the I guess spring into summertime. This is a set of, let's see, Spode Christmas Tree salt and pepper shakers. Uh, the box was marked 50 cents. Again, it was just thrown in with everything for the $10 total. And there they are. Not sure why they call them Christmas tree. They don't have a Christmas tree on them. No, they have holly on them. But still, super cute. Uh, these are going to be for resale. Uh, I'm not sure how Spode does, but uh, I'm willing to give it a shot anyway. And I picked up another Spode. Whoop, <laughs> picked up another Spode piece as well. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Yep. Here we go. Now this is definitely a Christmas tree. See that little tree right there, and the Spode marking on the back of that. Now that has a little, couple little marks right there. They feel raised, so I think it's just some kind of dirt that has to be washed off. Here we are. And these two pieces were marked a dollar for the both of them, and they're just a copper 
Uh, let's see if they have any marking on the back of them. They're made in, oh, Utah. And I thought these would be really cool pieces too as the base for some assemblage pieces. Either, you know, like that, or I could even just turn them upside down because it has that really pretty scalloped edge on it and use that as a base and do the, the um, art piece on the top there. So I'm going to be collecting pieces uh, and just kind of putting them together in a little stash and uh, start working on the assemblages down the line when I think I have enough pieces that I can actually make something. Uh, this I got as well for the same reason. I thought that was really, really cute little uh, piece for Christmas time, Santa's workshop. And it is all wood. It's not marked, but my guess is that it's a Japan piece. Now this was actually, they had several under the tables, they had several free boxes. Um, this piece I picked up in one of the free boxes, and it's just a really cool, it's a vase, and it is broken there, so that's why it was free. But if you turn it that way, you can't see it. I love the detailing in this. I thought it was just so, so pretty. And it is handcrafted in Australia by Red Gum uh, Ross Woodworkers. There's the label on that. So I thought that was really cool. And I might even be able to use this in an assemblage. I don't know. We'll see. But I thought it was a cool piece. Uh, this is going to be for resale. They did have this marked at $2. Not sure, you know, with everything thrown together, what I actually paid for it. But how cool is this? It is a vintage travel set that you would take along with you. Um, your soap. I think, oh yeah, there's a brush right there, your cologne or mouthwash, your toothbrush, comb. It's so, so cool. A nail file and a mirror, and then what is that? Oh, and that's just, I guess, to push your cuticles back with. And it included the towel. I love this. I think this is a cool, and it all zips up into, I'm going to assume because it's an older piece that this is leather, and it's in, I mean, pristine, pristine condition. So I was super excited to find that. I thought it was a really cool piece. I have more in, in my bag. It's amazing. Everything that I got for $10. Uh, now this says a set of six ornaments. They had that marked at a dollar. And I think they're all... Okay, they're a little bit different. They look like the snow babies, but I don't these are I don't believe these are snow babies. But oh yes, they are all different. So I thought these would be really cool too to put away in my stash for when I start working on those art pieces. Here's a little another little guy. Almost looks like a star the way he is sitting. And they're just different um, different ways, different poses. That's what I meant meaning to say. So there's six of those in the box. Those little babies. That's a gift. Can't show you that. And then these. Uh, I, I, don't, I did not count them, but I remember her telling me a dollar. So she charged me a dollar for all of these. And they are Metal Earth 3D model kits and there are different butterflies so this is the red spotted purple a buckeye bl butterfly uh, and there are a lot of repeats a pipe vine swallowtail um, a, sw a tiger swallowtail all brand new and they retailed for, as you can see on the back, $8.99. These are going to be for resale. And uh, I've looked them up on eBay. And they're actually going for about $8.99. Um, I'm going to price mine lower since I was able to get such an amazing deal on them. And because they're multiples, they're a lot easier to list. So there are those. And then for some Easter assemblages, I picked up. Look at the little bunny, little brush-tailed bunny. 
and his carrot. So cute. Oh, there's a bunch of the little bunnies like that. Look at them. And here's a little chicky. I don't think, oh, now that's got the bottle brush. His little wings are bottle brush. So there's him. And these were rag shop. These were $1.49 originally. And then I have some more. Let's see here. We have this little box of blue and pink peeps. They as well were $1.49 originally from the rag shop. Let's see on the back there. And then some more peeps. There's some more peeps. So I think those will look really cute uh, come Easter time. And this I got for my daughter. It's a paperweight, um, but I thought it was really pretty inside. It's one of those glass pieces. I don't know how they do these. I mean, that is just incredible to me anyway. And I think it has a lot of the colors that she likes in there. So I will wash that up and give that to her. And then, oh, here's the Santa Remember that I said had fallen off of that other piece. And he's, I think he's actually plastic. Uh, made in Hong Kong, so you know that he's older. So there's our little Santa. Put him back in there so I don't lose him. And then three more pieces, which are all the same, and it's these really pretty little birds, and I thought they would be great also as artwork. And let me see if this is where they were made. Made in Japan, so those are older as well. So all of what I just showed you was $10. Super, super happy with what I got. My favorite piece, as much as I love the vintage piece that reminds me of Miss Stone Home, my favorite piece actually is this because I just think it's cool. And in pristine condition, I really wonder if it was ever used. So that's my favorite piece. In the comment section down below, please let me know what your favorite piece was. And, as always guys, until my next video, take very, very good care of yourselves. And thank God for the family that you have. See you soon.